let me show you something cool. So, curl, and then the URL will give you the web page. In this case, it's just 104.156.249.145. It's my IP address. If you visit ICANHasIP.com, you'll get your IP address. Simple as that. So, here's something that you can do on every single platform from the terminal or command line or whatever it is. You do telnet space the domain name, which will be in the URL, space 80, or whatever port you have. By default, it's 80. 99% of the time, you'll put 80 there. Press enter. Cool. So now we are connected. Then you do get space slash enter. And then you get the web page at the address. Now, slash is, it's just the path that's up here, the path in the URL. You just copy it down. And that's pretty cool because you can do it from every single uh, operating system there is. Nobody will know what you're doing or how you're doing it. You'll look like a hacker. Then uh, there's another way you can do it, which is using HTTP 1.1. This is HTTP 1.0 right here. HTTP 1.1 is a bit more complicated, but it works on more uh, servers. Yeah, I know that's right. It, that, that's not all there is to this little trick. So here, here's how you do it. You do get slash and then you do HTTP 1.1. Uh, this right here is a space. Enter. And now you do host colon space I can has IP.com or whatever domain name you're using. Enter again. Enter again. And now you get a whole bunch of random headers and you also get the web page. Great. So, let me show you what it looks like when you can't use HTTP 1.0, so you have to use HTTP 1.1. HTTP 1.1 will work just about every time, but HTTP 1.0, you'll have to be careful. So here's uh, what it looks like when you're just using curl on a website of that sort. So I'm going to go to Dread.life, which is the website that I have. It's just my personal website. Telnet, Dread.life, and then 80. Here, let's try HTTP 1.0. Get, space, slash, enter. And it will give you 400 bad requests. So, yeah, that's because it doesn't support HTTP 1.0. So, what can we do? We can do get slash HTTP slash 1.1 and use HTTP 1.1 instead. HTTP 1.0 is much simpler. I prefer it, but HTTP 1.0 is put support on just about every single server there is. And then we can do host colon dread dot life. You need to put host in there. You can also put other stuff like user dash agent and colon space and then your user agent string and all that other stuff that there is. And then it will actually work. HTTP 1.1, 200 okay, which means it worked. Now, if you'll notice, the connection didn't close. You can actually do more requests. Like, let's ju just do the same request again, HTTP 1.1, uh, host dread.life, I don't know, maybe put a user agent string in there, uh, and there we are, great, cool, so we get our, uh, web page again. And we also get all these little headers up here. You don't mind those, they're okay. So, how do we get out? On this Telnet client, you do control right bracket and then control D, control D, and now it will close your connection for you. Pretty cool. You can also just wait for it to time out. Timing out is where you don't type something fast enough. For example, I'm just going to go open this connection and I'm going to leave it there. Eventually, it will uh, just stop responding. Even if I am typing something, uh, 
even if I uh, press enter and continue uh, doing stuff, eventually it will go and close my connection. Oh uh, no. In a future video, I will uh, explain in more detail how this works. But I hope you enjoy this uh, little trick here, and I don't know, play around. It's you. You might have some fun. You might not. Occasionally, people add some uh, little secrets in their headers, but not usually. Uh, for example, I can has IP has a little. That's two little headers right over here that uh, have some more information or whatever. There we are. It finally timed out. And it'll t say 408 request timed out. So, have fun.